Yo, 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 welcome. So, I repeat this statement over and over. This vlog is not about um, crime, stop, and all of that shit. You get me, I say? This vlog is about music. You know what I mean? But, for this one instant and this particular topic, I tend to speak about criminal convictions, whereas the music industry is concerned in Jamaica. We're recording artists of time and time again receive longer sentences than quote unquote criminals or people who are, you know, involved in illicit activities. You know what I mean? The judicial system in Jamaica, from time to time, they can never seem to convict criminals or they can never seem to give, to give criminals lengthy sentences. They, they can never seem to find criminals guilty of committing some of the most heinous crimes. But whenever it's a dancehall artist, you know, just the, the, the allure of getting attention, you know what I mean? Just the allure of getting clout makes them find technology wherever they can find it. Makes them find the best lawyers wherever they can find it. Makes them find the most competent of judges wherever they can find it. So as to, to put a recording artist, you know what I mean, under the bottom of the jail cell. Such as the case with Vibes Cartel. Now if you should look at the Klansman trial. The Klansman trial, they had over 30 people. You know what I mean? That they have a witness who was a member of the gang. You know what I mean? They have the banker who confessed to collecting money from business people and even hand pointed out persons who were, you know, high ranking members in the gang and killers and so forth and gave this to the court. And guess what? The judge freed. The majority of the guys, you know what I mean, that are involved, despite having a witness, you know what I mean? Even though in America, people like Sammy the Bull who were in the mob were able to bring down the entire mob by simply confessing to their crimes, you know what I mean, giving inside information and that would be enough, you would think. But not in Jamaica, even with a witness. You know, it is not enough to convict criminals. However, a witness will convict a criminal if he is a recording artist because the objective is to get as much media attention, you know what I mean, so that he can, it can make the headlines and you can run with it as your, your banner for election or, or to, to say that you are this type of judge that was responsible for putting this person, you know what I mean, who is notorious behind jail. You know what I mean? That is the only thing they are concerned. Clout. The clout chasing. And that is why a lot of times when Sir P speaks against dancehall artists, I am not in support of a lot of the things that he says. Sir P speaks a lot of sensible things and I am not one of those persons who are bashing Sir P. You know what I mean? He speaks a lot of sensible things. However, when he speaks on dancehall, I tend to see where a lot of the things that he says is unfair. For example, if a police should you know charge a recording artist you know for a criminal act then he would say hey the police force is doing a good job you know this person should be taken off the street then if the police should do something um which is unprofessional he would then say that oh the police force is horrible and you know what i mean therefore if the police can be corrupt in certain situations which are you know favorable to a particular person then they can also be corrupt to a situation which is unfavorable to a particular person corruption goes both ways take for example the jada chiefs situation where jada chiefs you know what i mean came to jamaica with illegal guns paid some money and confessed that she paid some money to the lawyer and the judge and the case was thrown out 
while Laden, who was found with a gun, is now serving a sentence behind bar. Yes, Laden is a dancehall artist, right? No surprise there. He's serving a sentence behind bars for an illegal gun. While Jada Chiefs confessed that I paid some money and I was able to go. That shows again that there is a bias when it comes to recording artists. But this foreign woman was able to, you know, have her case thrown out. You know, because she's an overseas person and she was able to pay some money. So, this is the point that I'm trying to make. The same way in which Jada Chiefs could have bribed a lawyer and a judge to throw away the case is the same way in which a Jamaican judge or a Jamaican um, judicial panel could be compromised to put a person behind bars like Vibes Cartel. And of course, Vibes Cartel is known as one of those persons that was ruffling feathers. You know what I mean? He got on the, the, the bad side of many persons in corporate Jamaica or in the, the upper class, so to speak. You know what I mean? He was seen as being one of those persons from the lower class that was growing in popularity and was basically ruffling feathers with the, with the, with the higher ups. And so... It was clear as day that a lot of the, 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 um, the statements that were given in Vibes Cartel's case, you know what I mean, it was not cut and dry. You know what I mean, they did not find a body. You know, the guy himself, his credibility can be questioned because he was a criminal. Just, just like the judge questioned the, the, the credibility of the witness in the Klansman trial case and asked why wasn't he charged, you know, for murders, etc. Why wasn't um, it asked? Um, for Vibes Cartel's um, accuser to be charged, you know what I mean, for crimes as well because it is alleged that um, he was abused or his, his fellow crony that, that allegedly allegedly lost, lost his life, lost it because he borrowed a gun. Now, what was he borrowing a gun for? He lost a gun. What was he? What was he doing with a gun? Was he using it to plant corn or to plant um, cassava? No. So why wasn't he charged for illegal possession of firearm? If we are going to be fair, fear is fear. So if you want the witness in the Klansman trial to be charged, why shouldn't the other guy who confessed or or or, or gave the allegations against Vice Cartel? And Sean Storm, why wasn't it requested that that guy be charged? Why? Because he was confessing against an artist. And so this is why sometimes when 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 Serpy speaks against um, Vibes Cartel, you know what I mean, an artist overall, you know what I mean, you should take it with a grain of salt. You know what I mean, because because corruption has no boundaries and it can work both ways you know what i mean if corruption can work to set people free you know what i mean who are guilty corruption can also work to set people who are innocent behind bars you get me so you can't just say the law is good whenever it puts someone who you want to be inc incarcerated behind bars but say the law is bad whenever it frees somebody who you did not want to see go free you know what i mean so the justice system overall is bullshit in jamaica i would say you know what i mean but i specifically think that whenever it comes to persons that are in the entertainment industry they tend to all of a sudden find all the technology that they need you know what i mean to send those persons behind bars but on a regular day they can't find technology they can't find evidence witnesses not credible and all that bullshit i'm out